Good evening, guys. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the SEA Specimen Paper Series here at Sea Results Academy. So we've finally begun section two and we're on number 21. Okay, the first question of section two. Alan puts three numbers in ascending order. A common fraction belonging to the eighth family is missing. Write the missing fraction. All right, so we have these numbers here. They're already arranged in ascending order, and the one that is missing belongs to the eighth family. It's a common fraction that belongs to the eighth family. Okay, so one strategy that you can use for this particular question, um, percentages are very nice to work with, right? So we have one of the numbers already given as a percentage, which is 80%. Now 0 0.65 is really 65 hundreds right or 65 over 100 okay uh, which is the same as 65 percent remember percent means out of 100 right so we have 65 percent we have 80 percent so basically we want to know now which common fraction belonging to the eighth family is going to fall in between 65 percent and 80 percent okay so we can immediately eliminate some of the fractions the common fractions that belong to the eighth family for instance one eight two eights all the way up to four eights would be 50 percent or less because four eights right can be reduced to one half and we know that one half is 50%. So all of these from 4 eighths go back uh, by default going to be less than 65%. So we'll, we won't bother to test those. All right. Now we can start testing from 5 eighths. All right. 5 eighths, which is more than half. So therefore, it should be more than 50%. So let's see if that will fall between 65% um, and 80%. So we just multiply 5 eighths by 100 over 1. Okay, 4 can go into 8 twice, and 4 can go into 125 times. All right, so that's going to give me 125 over 2. Okay, and this can be converted into a mixed number, and that is going to give me 62 62.5%. 62.5 percent which is less than 65 percent so it can't come between 65 percent and 80 percent so we'll test our next um common fraction in the eighth family and uh, that is going to be six eighths now six eighths can be reduced to three quarters and three quarters is one of those common fractions that we ought to know as a percentage and a decimal anyway, but I'll continue working it out here, right? So we'll say four into four are one, four into 100 is 25, and we're going to get 75%. So 75% falls nicely between 65% and 80%. So therefore, the common fraction that is missing here is 6 eighths. And we are going to present the answer as 6 eighths because the question specifically referred to it as a common fraction belonging to the eighths family. So in this box over here, we're going to write 6 over 8. And that's the answer for number 21. Okay, guys, so we are here on number 22 now which reads, Mr. Sam uses 12 cups of flour to bake one batch of bread rolls. Each roll can be made from one quarter cup of flour. How many bread rolls can be made in five batches? So he uses 12 cups of flour to make one batch of bread rolls. And each roll can be made from one quarter cup of flour. So if one quarter cup of flour uh, makes one roll, therefore, one cup of flour is going to make four rolls. One cup of flour will be equal to four 
rolls and uh, 12 cups of flour makes one batch of bread rolls okay so therefore one batch will be equal to 12 times 4 so we multiply the 12 cups of flour by four rolls because each cup of flour gives us four rolls so we're going to get 48 rolls per batch and now we'd like to know how many bread rolls can be made in five batches so for that final calculation we're going to do five batches will be equal to 48 times five which is equal to 240 rolls 240 rows. So that is the answer, guys, for number 22. And before we move on to our final question for today, which will be number 23, I just invite you to listen to one short message from myself. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with number 23 after this. Hope you're enjoying the video, guys. Just wanted to remind you of my six-week SEA math crash course that takes place or begins on the 26th of April. And the deadline for registration is the 23rd of April, Friday the 23rd. So please give me a call before then or a text or a WhatsApp message at 392-5296. And also, don't forget to subscribe to us on our YouTube channel at C Results Academy and to follow us on Instagram and Facebook, okay? Now let's get back to the video. All right, guys, so here's our final question for today. Number 23, when 4 times a number is added to 25, the answer is the difference between 50 and 675. What is the number? So, first of all, we're going to find out what the difference between 50 and 675 is. Difference, of course, means that we're going to subtract. So, we'll say 675, take away 50, which is going to give me... 625. All right, so when 4 times a number is added to 25, the answer is the difference between 50 and 675. So when 25 is added to 4 times a number, the answer is equal to 625. So we can continue working backward here now. We're going to take the 25 away from 625. So we're going to take away the 25 that was added to four times a number, right? And that will give me 600. Okay, so four times a number added to 25 is the difference between 50 and 675. So four times this number that we are looking for plus 25 is equal to 625. So we got rid of the 25, we are left with 600. So now all that we have to do is to divide this number by 4 and we'll get the number that was times by 4 before being added to 25. Okay, so 600 divided by 4 is actually going to be 150. So our final answer for this question is 150. 50. And of course, you can check it back to make sure that it's correct. First, you can times 150 by 4. You're going to get 600. And you add 25 to that, you're going to get 625. And of course, the difference between 675 and 50, as we've already demonstrated, is 625. And that gives us uh, you know, certainty that the number is 150. Okay, guys, so thank you for tuning in today. I do look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Take care. Have a good evening. Assalamu alaikum.